Last time Stanford beat UCLA was January of 2021 in a game in Santa Cruz as the Bruins go inside to Adembona. Is stop avoiding contact, go, go towards the basket, don't fade away, be assertive. Lazar Stefanovic, 8 nothing UCLA. Dylan Andrews gets to the basket, the Bruins have made six consecutive shots from the floor. The officials got together and determined the foul took place before Mack gathered and went up for the shot. Therefore, they waved it off, it was just a foul on the floor against Stanford. Sebastian Mack rolls off, and the putback inside by Brandon Williams for UCLA. Now the Bruins have gotten a little stagnant offensively, and some of the success they had early, the Stanford's doing a better job of contesting shots around the paint. Pull up on the baseline of the first points for the freshman Kanan Carlisle for Stanford. Off the bench when he hit six of eight from three at Maples Pavilion on Sunday. And the long two rattles in, Sebastian Mack. Here's Carlisle launching a three. And he's starting to get it going now. That's two straight shots for Carlisle. As he went all the way up the ladder that time. Brandon Williams lost the handle. Here comes Kanan Carlisle for Stanford. Carlisle at one. Aiden Carlisle from deep, and a three, and we're tied. He's a special player that's overcome a lot over the course of his career, and boy, as he showed out. And speaking of showing out, so is that young man. Second consecutive game, he's up to 15 points right now. That was a game against Oregon that they felt they should have won that contest. And Stanford was in complete control against ASU. And their entire coach just says, hey, we should have won that one as well. What a finish. Maxime Renault with the left hand. And that was great execution. And the baseball passes it ahead for Maxime Renault, who goes in, missed the layup, and it's run down by Cannon Carlisle, who just back it away and run out the clock. And that gets us to Nicole and Max. So the Stanford Cardinal overcome a 10-point deficit the first half, and they stifle UCLA in the second half, winning 59-53.